Welcome to My Personal Geek, the channel dedicated to helping the non-technical master their computer. This is the companion video to creating and using custom templates in Microsoft Outlook. In this video, we'll explore how to delete a custom email template that we've made in Outlook. Unfortunately, Outlook doesn't provide a mechanism for deleting a custom template, so to do so, we'll have to drill down into the file system to find the template and then delete it. Don't let this process scare you. It's a good exercise and will familiarize you with the Windows file system. So let's get started. So to delete a custom template, take the following steps. First, we'll right click on the start button and select Open Windows Explorer. And once Explorer opens, we'll open the drop down list that says Organize. We'll mouse over Layout, and then we're going to select Menu Bar. And by doing so, notice that we now have a new menu bar that says File, Edit, View, Tools, and Help. Next, let's set the viewing window up to view files in the Details format. I think this view makes it easier to find files and folders. So to do so, we'll click on View and we'll select details. Now notice on the right hand side it's changed from icons to file names. The next thing we'll do is from the menu bar select tools and then folder options. From this dialog box we want to select the view tab. From the View window, look in the Advanced Settings box and make sure that the Show Hidden Files, Folders, and Drives option has been selected. Now we want to click Apply to All Folders. We'll get a prompt that asks us, do you want all folders of this type to match this folder's view settings? and we'll say yes and then we'll click apply and then OK to close. Now we want to navigate our way to the folder that contains the template we want to delete. So to do so, follow these steps. In the Windows Tree pane, which is the left hand pane, select Local Disk C. So we'll mouse down until we find local disk C. We'll select that. And then in the folder view, we'll double click the users folder. Next, we'll double click the name of your computer. In my case, that's Dennis Office. Now we'll double click on the App Data folder. Next, we'll double click on Roaming. As you can see, we're drilling down deeper into the file system. Next, we want to double click on the Microsoft folder. And then once again, we'll down We'll double click on the Templates folder. And at last, we've found the folder where our templates reside. And recall from the first video, we created a template called Weekly Sales Performance. That's the template we wish to delete. So we'll click on that, right click it, and select Delete. And a prompt asks us, are we sure if we want to move this file to the recycle bin? We'll click yes. And now the file is gone. Now a word of caution and a good rule of thumb to live by in any application is never delete a file unless you're sure that it's one you've created and that by deleting it, it won't have an ill effect on other applications. In simple terms, if you don't know what it is, leave it alone. 
Deleting an unfamiliar file can cause drastic effects and in some cases could cause an application to stop working. So that's all there is to it and thanks for watching.